guys, how the heck are you? My name is Carly and today I'm going to be telling you some interesting stories about my experiences on the bus. Okay, so if you do not know, I am currently in 10th grade and I go to public school and I've been going on the bus since kindergarten. So that's what, 11 years? So I'm bound to have some interesting stories. Okay, so first to start off, I remember in 5th grade, my friends and I in my neighborhood, whenever someone would swear something, we would lick the ground. I never actually licked the ground, I would just pretend because that's nasty. Who's gonna lick the dirty bus floor? That's gross. We used to do that. And then there was this one kid on my bus, Sam, and he would bring his little portable movie player and he would, he brought these two movies that I can remember. There was this one where these boys jumped into a lake, they had leeches all over them, they were just like peeling it off. It was really weird and gross. And there was this other one with this old guy and he like ripped a bird's head off with his teeth and started attacking some girl. I don't really know. It was pretty weird, but I don't know why you would have those movies and your parents would like, bring them on the bus if you're in fifth grade. You're t literally 10 years old, but I don't know. That was a thing that happened. And in fifth grade, my bus was kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. But then I moved on to sixth grade. And I was 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, I rode this bus. When I was in 8th grade, we had a sub bus driver one day, and there was this little kid on my bus, and then, so we pulled out of the street and we're at his house, and he's like, my bus driver normally holds my hand and walks me to my house, please do the same! And that was probably one of the funniest bus experiences, because <laughs> he just kept, really, he just kept saying, please do the same! And like, that's just so weird, like, I don't know. I thought it was funny. It was probably funnier if you were there. That sub bus driver's name is Mr. Bus Driver, by the way. I don't know what his real name is, but he, he comes back later, so just remember him. And then, when I was in ninth grade, we switched to a different bus because our neighborhood was too big, so we had to switch to another bus, whatever. So, on my bus, there's these kids who, if you're like a troubled kid, you go live at this house, I don't know what it's called, but they're on my bus route. So there's this kid on my bus, Randy, and at the time he was in seventh grade, and this kid was a sophomore. So the kid from the house, the kid who was like troubled, like he was a tough kid, you wouldn't want to mess with him. So this kid, Randy, decides, hey, let it'll be a good idea if I throw stuff at him. So he starts throwing like pencils, erasers, like books, whatever. He throws them at him. And then after like the second time, the kid throws it out the window and Randy's like, what the heck? And then the kid was like, do it one more time. I dare you. So then Randy just throws it at him again. So the kid comes running up the bus, crawling over the seats and he chokes him and he goes like, <laughs> like this, like digging his fingers into his throat. And my bus driver was like, Randy, cut it out. <laughs> like she didn't even care that he was being choked. And then with that same bus driver this year, we have, we have more kids from that house come on. And there was this kid, he brought his speakers on the bus every single day and he would play like his music. He would just blast it and everyone would get really annoyed at the beginning of the year. And then so other kids would bring their speakers and blast different music. This kid just keeps blasting his music and then he would like, so he would play rap and then he would go to like pop music. And then there was this, <laughs> he would make fun of this um, hillbilly kid on my bus. So he would play like freaking prairie music. <laughs> oh, and he let me DJ one time. So I freaking plugged my phone in. I got the aux cord. I'm playing One Direction, blast and act my age. My bus probably hated it, but I don't care. It was funny. And then my friend played when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's more. You know that one? But he left. And then we got a new bus driver. Now this bus driver oh, is so annoying. She brings her kid on the bus and her kid cries. She makes, she smells the, like she stinks up the bus. Then my bus driver won't show up for work. So our bus is always late. And then she'll, the bus, we're usually in the front of the line. It'll be the back of the line. She's just always late. It's really annoying. But yeah, so she's like never here. So then we had Mr. Bus Driver as our sub. So he's just driving the bus, we're like driving home, and we're on a main road. And then all of a sudden this car in front of us just stops. So we slam our brakes and we stop too. And then we're like, um, what the heck? Cause she wasn't moving, so we can just go around her. So the lady comes up to the side of the bus and then he opens the door, he's like, what do you want? And she's like, is Tommy on the bus? 
and then our bus driver and Mr. Bus Driver was like, is Tommy on the bus? And we're like, there has never been a Tommy on this bus. Like, and he's like, I would appreciate it if you didn't try to kill every single person on this bus. And then she's like, let me on the bus. I need to get Tommy. So she starts like almost walking up the thing. And he's like, no, 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 ma'am, you need to get off this bus. I'm calling the police. And then, so she went back to her car and she like pulls into her driveway. And then he starts, he called the bus and he called the police. And then, so we're driving past her and she's pulling out of a driveway and then she like backed up a little bit and then she's like telling him to go. So he starts driving and I literally thought she was gonna slam her car as hard as she could into our bus, but I'm so thankful that she didn't because I did not want to die, but she was definitely insane. But yeah, those are my, some of my bus experiences. I mean, maybe I just think they're weird. Maybe this happens on everyone's bus. I don't know. That's all I have for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.